Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius and welcome to another day in the fish room. So today I want to talk a little bit about how we can save some money in this fish keeping hobby while at the same time making an effort to save our planet. So recently I read online about an article where a well in the ocean was killed from consuming plastic. Now after I read that article that led to several other articles and it turns out that this is pretty common. Um, ocean life, whether it be wells, sea lions, fish, they're being highly affected by plastic and there's a lot of cases where these creatures, they eat plastic, it clogs up their insides so that they can't eat anything else and they die from starvation, from strangling, or just some type of way, but the death is caused by the plastic. I even read that in the future, they say pretty soon the ocean is going to have more plastic than fish. So today I want to give you guys some DIYs and aquarium hobby where you can recycle your plastic and um, put it to better use rather than it being in the ocean and eventually affecting our animals. So today I want to give you guys a look at some DIYs that you can do for your fish tank using plastic bottles. Now some of these DIYs are going to be hands on, you're going to see me perform them and other ones I'm just going to talk about and give you some ideas. So first and foremost with any plastic bottle that you have, if you want to use it for your aquarium the first thing you're going to have to do is clean it. You want to take off the outside wrapper and you want to just make sure that the inside is nice and washed out. If that outside wrapper leaves a little residue you want to just soak it in warm water and eventually it will come out. But before you do anything with your plastic just make sure you give it a nice rinse in warm water and make sure that it is clean and ready to be used in the aquarium. Okay everyone, so the first DIY I want to show you guys is something that's very common on my channel. This DIY is very easy to make and at the same time very effective and it is the plastic bottle trap. So I'm going to be using an empty Poland Spring water bottle and to make this trap all you have to do is simply cut the bottle about 3 fourths from the top. Once your bottle is cut you want to take the bottom half and poke a few holes in the bottom. What this does is just make sure that no air is trapped in the trap. If there is air inside of it, you may get some uneven size and it just won't work properly. After that, you just take the top half, the part where you drink from, and you place it face down into the bottom section or the bottom half of the bottle, and that is your trap. Now, depending on what you want to catch, you may have to tape it for extra strength, but I'm just trying to catch some Malaysian trumpet snails, so this is all I need, and it's worked plenty of times, and it's definitely a great trap. So from there you just take some bait, I like to use algae wafers because Malaysian trumpet snails they love them and you just simply place the algae wafer inside of the trap and when it's in the aquarium the snails they go in and they just can't find a way out. So while I'm making the rest of these DIYs for you I'm going to give you guys a look at how effective this trap is. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it inside my 29 gallon Hillstrom aquarium. This tank is full of Malaysian trumpet snails. Yeah, I'm going to sit it at the bottom of the tank, I have the trap in it, and I'm going to come back at the end of this video and we're going to see what we could catch. Okay everyone, the next DIY I want to show you guys is another commonly used DIY found in this hobby and it is the gravel vac which is usually connected to your aquarium siphon. So I have a lot of siphons around the house, I have a lot of the hoses, but the actual gravel vac I really don't have because a lot of times they're made out of this cheap plastic material and they break and you know I just never replace them. But recently I found out a good replacement and that is with this bottle. So right here I have a empty Arizona bottle, this is the 20 ounce Arizona. This flavor was sweet tea but I really don't think it matters what flavor you're using um, but yeah with this bottle I just simply cut a hole in the bottom of it I found that cutting a hole was much easier than I expected and at the same time when I cut the hole it didn't take away from any of the strength of the overall bottle after the hole was cut on the bottom I went to the top the actual top of the bottle and I went to go drill a hole into the top of it for my hose connection the holes the hole that you drill inside the top needs to be the same dimensions as your holes for the um, siphon. I initially tried to drill straight through the top through the top itself but it really wasn't working because it wasn't spinning right I didn't have a good grip so then I went and I put the top back onto the bottle and just drilled it while I was on the bottle and that went pretty smoothly it just drilled straight through 
After that, I just simply stuck the holes through and then I have my siphon. Now the thing is, if you want to make this long term, you want to take the next step and use silicone and just make it nice and secure so that there's no leak around the top. This will make it so that when you are siphoning, water goes directly through the holes and nowhere else. But I'm going to use the temporal method, just simply connecting it as is without any silicone. This still works, but you know with the silicone, it's just a little bit more effective. Now for a demonstration, I want to give you guys a quick look at me doing a little water change on my 20 gallon hospital tank. In this tank I have my Oscar Cichlid. One day he decided to pick a fight with the Red Devil and consequently he is now being hospitalized. Okay everyone, so the final demonstration I want to give you guys is probably going to be the easiest DIY out of all of them that I listed. And this is going to be the aquarium planter. So basically, a lot of us, we start our aquariums with one type of substrate. Eventually, we find out that we want plants, but you know, some plants, they like nutrient-rich substrates. So instead of going through all the trouble of transforming our substrates, taking out one to put another one, all you have to do is add planters, which provides nutrients for your plants while saving you the headache of going through the trouble of trying to change your entire substrate. So for these planters, I'm going to be using a 32 ounce orange juice container along with another Arizona container, once again 20 ounces. And basically you just simply cut these in half. Once they're cut in half, you poke some holes in the bottom and that is all. Now for substrate, I'm going to be using EcoComplete. I find that this EcoComplete is pretty good in the long run. At first, it doesn't really benefit the plants, but eventually as it grows older, as it develops more nutrients, um, as it collects more nutrients from the water, it becomes more better for your plants. Um, some other substrates that you can use includes dirt. The only thing about dirt is that it is messy, so if you have fish that like to dig, um, definitely might not be a good idea, but if you have like tetra or something like that then you may be able to get away with dirt but anyway i'm going to be using eco complete because it's what i have extra of um, you just simply add the eco complete to the planter add the plants i'm going to be topping it off with a few stones to keep to keep the plants in because i'm putting these in the cichlid aquarium and you know cichlids they love to dig and that's pretty much all Okay everyone, so those are my demonstrations of different things you could do to recycle bottles in this aquarium hobby. Now I still have a few more ideas, I just didn't want to demonstrate them because after this video I wouldn't find any use of these following products. But one of the things you can make out of a bottle are filters. Now you can actually make many different types of filters and I've seen some very creative ideas. Um, you could take fil these bottles and you could connect them to other filters like sponge filters. Um, I've seen bottles connected to 
to power heads with filter media inside of them and you can just make so many different types of filters from bottles so it all depends on your creativity and your specific need you can also use a bottle to make a DIY egg tumbler for those of you who keep African cichlids you know that these fish are moth brooders so you would go and take the eggs and you would put them inside the egg tumbler and this was pretty much replicate the mother keep the eggs shuffled around keep them moving keep them oxygenated and just make a safe way for them to hatch or for them to develop same thing with a hatchery when it comes to hatching brine shrimp or different crustaceans um, you can make that out of a bottle and this pretty much has the same effect as a egg tumbler it shakes the eggs around and just imitates the natural setting of these eggs and just provides a lot of oxygen and makes for a safe hatching now the final way you can recycle bottles in this aquarium hobby is by creating a DIY CO2 system. Now this is something that I actually tried a couple of years ago, however when I tried I was not successful. Um, but simply you take a bottle, you take two bottles, one a 2 liter bottle, the second can be a 2 liter or smaller, um, and you take a couple of mixtures including some baking soda, some yeast. I'm not going to go into the details because once again I did fail so I'm definitely not the one to tell you how to do it but you take these mixtures and somehow the CO2 is created it goes in from one bottle to the other bottle and eventually into your aquarium but just this, this is just the idea you take the idea you go and learn about it and you go apply it to your aquarium okay everyone so that's just been a quick look at how you can recycle some bottles and this aquarium hobby and come a little bit closer to making our planet a little bit safer for wildlife for fish and for us so everyone if you like this video feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you have any questions about what you saw today feel free to ask me in the comment section below if you have any suggestions of different things you could do with bottles please let me know because i had a hard time thinking about these things alone so i would definitely love some other diy that you could do with a bottle and as always, if you want more, make sure you subscribe, because as you already know, more is coming. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.